Happy New Year to you, bro. If I don't start building a guitar soon, I'm gonna go crazy. Hi, this is Rand from Armok Guitars, and welcome to the Soma Guitar Build. So, the idiot you see on your screen didn't realize that his microphone was off, so let me catch you up on what he's trying to say. Um, I know it's been a minute since my last upload, but I'll catch you guys up on what's been up in an upcoming video. I really want to get started on this build. It's something I've been working towards for a while. Um, I'm going to call it the Soma build, which is, which is a reference to the finish that I have in mind, but we'll get to that in due time. But I think you'll find this interesting. There's a little bit of steam bending. There's a few things in there that I think you guys might find fairly interesting. So, um, but before we do that, let's take a look at the woods we're going to use, because who doesn't like a little wood porn? So to start, we have this piece of black limba. I've had this piece here for a while and I've been dying to use it and I'm glad I'm finally gonna have the opportunity to do so. The figuring on it is just gorgeous. And um, I've never really worked with black limba before, but this is gonna serve as our back piece. So for our top wood, we're gonna use this piece of quilted maple. Um, I'm not really big on highly figured woods, to be honest. I know, controversial, but I mean, look at that figure. It's just beautiful. For our neck wood, we're going to use this piece of oak. Uh, I know oak is a very unusual choice, but I think the colors in this, the tans and uh, the olives are going to match really well with the black limba. It also has a little bit of flame in it um, and bark. And for the neck, we have this piece of Madagascar ebony that I've had laying around for a while. So this build is the culmination of two prototypes that I've built. One was the guitar you guys saw in the Great Guitar Build Off of 22, and the other one is one I built back when I was still building guitars on my kitchen table. It's a model that I call La Fiera, which means the wild beast or the fierce one. So I've been bouncing around this idea in my head for a while now of having two different versions of each guitar that I make. Uh, one that I call the Alpha, the other one is the Omega. The Alpha is being a simpler version of the guitar. Um, one piece body, traditional woods like maple and ash, and a few other simplifications like bolt on neck, etc. The Omega is like the dressed up version, a two piece body, more figured woods, um, probably a set neck design. This is going to be an Omega version of the guitar that you guys saw in the Great Guitar Build Off. So the way this works, we're gonna have to carve the back, steam bend the top, and then carve the top. The lower horn, uh, which was one piece of wenge on the great guitar build off, is going to be a little bit different on this one. The quilt of maple is going to be on the back of the guitar, and the limba is going to be on the top of the guitar, so it's sort of an inversion. But ultimately, you should be able to see the front of the guitar from the back and the back of the guitar from the front. For the headstock, I'm hoping to refine and nail down the slotted headstock design that I did for the great guitar build off. Um, I've really fallen in love with it. Four minutes in and I haven't done any woodworking. Will I ever shut up? So the first step is to book match the two tops together. And um, I really should make a shooting board for this, but I really enjoy using the hand plane this way. Once they're perfectly matched, I can glue them up and set it aside for a day or two to dry up. The second step was to cut that live edge off of the oak and my bandsaw was not liking this one bit. Um, it's an extremely dense piece of wood um, and my planer wouldn't even touch it. I also surfaced both sides and thicknessed the piece but my battery died and I didn't really notice it so I don't have any video of it. But I did manage to catch some video of me surfacing the fretboard. Um, so there's that. I took it down to about eight millimeters and I figured the rest I can do by hand. 
One thing I do have to decide is what type of inlays I want to do on this. Um, I'm still bouncing around some ideas, but I haven't really settled on anything yet. So there's still a bunch of stuff yet to be determined. I haven't decided whether I want to do a tremolo, whether I want to do a fixed bridge. I haven't figured out what I want to do for the inlays. Um, there's a, a, still a, a bunch of stuff to figure out, but looking at this wood, I think they all play together really, really well. So that's about it for now. If you want to follow the build, like, subscribe, you know the deal. You can also check out the build I did for the Great Guitar Build Off of 2022. I'll put a link down below to the playlist. Hopefully I'll be updating and uploading more regularly. Um, till then, peace out.